Hello everyone, welcome to these Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the 12 World White Ninja figure, which looks a hell of a lot like the classified version of Retaliation Sna uh, Storm Shadow from the G.I. Joe Retaliation movie. And I guess you could make the assumption that it's kind of similar to the uh, G.I. Joe Retal or Rise of Cobra movie also. Um, but fortunately not the uh, Snake Eyes Origin Storm Shadow. But we got him to compare, so we'll dive into it here, so... You guys already saw my Black Warrior video by 12 World. Now we got the 12 World White Ninja figure. It's going to be the 112 scale collectible figure. There's some uh, some stuff there. Got the good old Rashikage logo there. Rashikage there. There's a nice shot of him. You get yes, whatever that says. I'm not sure. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But the White Ninja figure. Comes in this uh, plastic tray, all kinds of goodies and goodies and stuff. We'll we'll dive into it here. So we get this flexible stand, and this opens and closes. Pretty good, pretty good grip there. Pretty locked in. Try to move my life for you guys. We get multiple sets of hand. Figure comes with two sets of laxed hands on the figure. All open uh, fingerless glove, white hands. So. Got these open laxed hands. We got a left and a right throwing star hand. Left and right fists. Then they uh, they got the peg system, so the wrist has the pegs, so it's like a lot of uh, other import figures. You get a left and right trigger hand. Come on. Come on, there we go. And a left and right gripping hand. Um, I already switched out the trigger and gripping hands just for uh, the safe time on my end. Going to the accessories, we get two size. They are made of plastic. A little on the fragile side, so just be careful. A little baggie with three uh, throwing stars in it. An alternate mast head. Angle my light here a little bit. You get your two swords. And these are metal. Like with the uh, snake eyes. I'm sorry, the black warrior figure. And they look pretty crisp. And then in traditional movie fashion, it comes with this extra piece here. And we could pop the uh, bottoms off. And you're in business like in the movie. So that's pretty, pretty fun, unique idea. Something different, something we don't usually see. Um, I mean, maybe we saw it with the Retaliation movie line. I don't really I don't. Did we get a Retaliation Storm Shadow on the movie line? I know we got that Ultimate Storm Shadow on the movie line, which just looked like classic Storm Shadow with all kinds of goodies. And I know we got a uh, a couple Storm Shadows for the Rise of Cobra line. There you go. Get this pistol. Silver side. Black lower. Magazine does come out and there is a little round on the top there. Painted, so. It looks like there's some portholes for blast effects if you, if you had some. Uh, it looks kind of on the small side, though. But that, oh, the magazine just dropped right out. There we go. Going to the figure himself, it's a decent, decent likeness. Obviously, it can't be exact. Looks pretty solid. He's in his uh, his leather getup. Got lots of buttons, straps, all kinds of goodies. Got some pretty solid articulation. Your T pose, double jointed elbows. Doesn't really feel like there's any butterfly, but you don't really need that. You got that rotation, but the, uh, you got to work it through the clothing. Head looks up, head looks down. There you go. Go to the back, we got his uh, sword sheaths. Obviously different size for the different swords. Got his like long trench coat style going on. Got a nice little holster here on the side. 
Got a little button, but doesn't actually button. It's just kind of there for show. Working our way down, we got a uh, <laughs> some what are those Converse? Got the double jointed knees. This the legs are on the skinny side, um, which we've seen with the the, the snake eyes. We got a good bit of a uh, good bit of movement here in the foot. So there he is. Let's grab that. Uh, we we'll can do some size comparisons. We'll switch out the heads. So we got regular storm shadow there. So he's a little on the taller side. We got ugh. I could never get this figure to freaking stand. So horrible. And this one's actually in white, unlike this one. I don't know if that's like a design thing, so the figure doesn't get dirty because it's a kid's toy or what. We got a red ninja. We got a GM Toys Reaper figure. Slide Storm Shadow out of here. We got our 12 world world Black Warrior figure who's just on the tall side in general. Is Ray, isn't Ray Park like average or slightly below average height? And then a Valiverse Action Force Condor figure. So he's, he fits in pretty well when it comes to height. A little on the skinny side, but overall not too bad. Let's see if we can swap these heads out real quick for you guys. All right. There you have it. It doesn't look too bad. You still know it's Storm Shadow, so it still works out. I mean, White Ninja. So it's still it all works out. So there you go. I think 5K Toys currently has them on sale if you're looking to, to set that up. Actually, we got... Two more comparisons. And then keeping up with our... Fancy G.I. Joe figure lines. We'll add the Mezco Roadblock and Destro in there. So obviously they're all posed up. I just grabbed off my shelf real quick. But there they are. So he just doesn't have that, that bulk to him. But he's overall not a, not a horrible, horrible figure. I definitely like it a lot more than the, uh, the Snake Eyes, you know, black... Black Warrior figure, but overall, not too bad. Definitely, if you're a fan of that version of Storm Shadow, or just, you know, you like having 112 scale Joes in general, definitely would look pretty solid on the shelf. So, that's it for me. Uh, what do you guys think? You guys picking them up? Did you guys pick them up? Did you guys skip out on them? Did you guys see them and were like, nah, we don't, I'm not, not my type? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, load up, grab your kits. See you on the battlegrounds.